Good morning and happy Pentecost Sunday. Great to see everybody, uh, everybody back in the church here this morning, bright and early at 8 a.m. I only regret Father Carlson teased me a little bit last week. He said that, uh, that I'll never get the experience of preaching to an empty church. <laughs> so thank you very much for being here. The Holy Spirit, who we heard about today, is sometimes referred to as the forgotten member of the Trinity. Right? We think about God the Father. We think about Jesus. But how often do we think about the Holy Spirit? In the scriptures, the Spirit is referred to as the breath of God, as we heard in the Gospel, or, and also the paraclete, which means helper. The Holy Spirit will come to us, giving us the grace of God and moving us towards uniting our hearts to the Lord. That's, that's one, one of the things that, uh, that's one of the purposes, one of the that drives the Holy Spirit is being able to infuse that grace within us. As St. Paul says today in the second reading, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the help of the Holy Spirit. It is the Spirit who urges us on to who you and I are called to be, who God is calling us to be. It's the Spirit that moves us in that way. And part of that calling, who God wants us to be, is special gifts from the Holy Spirit that the church calls charisms. Special special gifts given by God, special graces that we all have. These are, as St. Paul says again, many, there are many gifts, but one spirit. Charisms are these special gifts that are used to bring that, are, that, are, that we use to bring the gift of Jesus to the world. For example, do you enjoy praying for others? Do people often come to you and say, would you pray for me, for my family, for my friend? Do you feel as though that other people have that draw to you to ask for prayer? If so, you may have the charism of intercessory prayer. Some people, although it's rare, will experience a lot of miracles in their life. They'll pray for something, and then something by miraculous uh, happenstance will happen. That would be the charism of miracles. Special gift given. But they're not all this flashy. Maybe you enjoy having people over to your house. Maybe you enjoy hosting, bringing uh, friends and family and cooking a meal for them. That may be the, the charism of hospitality. or Maybe you just like having your life in a well-ordered way. Everything has its place. I had a teacher in college that every lesson, every plan, had a special color in her binder. She loved doing that. She had the charism of administration. And there, there are hundreds and hundreds of these different gifts that God could give you, and it's, they're impossible to list. And these are just a few of them. These, recognizing these gifts, these are real and tangible ways to see the hand of God working in your life. Real gifts that God has given you through the Holy Spirit. How do we know what gifts God has given us? First and most importantly, of course, is prayer. Prayer and meditation. We've all had a little bit of extra free time lately, right, in these past few months, and we will into the summer. Use some of that to, to say, God, what have you given me? What gifts do I have that I can share with others? Second step, maybe the hardest for us Minnesotans and upper Midwesterners, is recognizing them, acknowledging them, saying, yes, I'm good at this. Humility is simply a matter of saying what's true. If you have a gift, Recognize it, name it, and don't be afraid to use it. That's okay. Then finally, relate them. You know, you found out your gifts, you know what they are. Relate them to the Lord and say, Lord, how do you want me to use these? All geared towards bringing people to Jesus. But all, that's what your gifts are for. There are certain online resources as well, if you... And charism finder, these little quizzes or tests, 
A good one is put out by something called the Catherine of Siena Institute, Siena Institute out of Denver. Uh, so that might be something worth checking out, or you can grab me after Mass and I can help you out finding some uh, resources if this is something that's interesting to you. At any rate, on this Pentecost, God wants, to show, wants us to recognize the gifts he's given us. In the first reading, in the book, reading uh, from the book of Acts, we heard of the descent of the Holy Spirit. Peter was able to preach to a bunch of people that didn't know the same language, and they all heard him in their own language. We know the story of Pentecost, but God, the gifts, that was his gift in that moment, his charism that God gave him. The ones that God gives us aren't any less fantastic. They're the same. They're, they're just as incredible in the way that God wants to work in our lives. So pray, take, this, take some time to pray about what they are and what comes from them. As St. Paul told us today, we are one body with many parts, one body of Christ. Use your charisms to build up that body. And in that way, we can begin to bring Christ throughout the world.